Today, the stress levels are peaking. <laughs> Old mate pops a gasket. Yeah, I can't go backwards. Can't go forwards. You can hear Jay swearing back there, it can't be good. We rolled out of camp this morning. Uh, beautiful blue sky, sun's out. Mate, typical Kimberley landscape. Now we're heading to the halfway point, which is the Berkeley River. Now at the Berkeley River, this is where we're hoping to get to get the boat in at the rock bar and head into the Berkeley River, the salt part of it. And so it's been one of my little pet dreams for a long time now, and I'm hoping to achieve that today. I do know that uh, I've actually got a little bit of a fuel problem, as in I'm running low on it. So we've got to keep an eye on that as well and hopefully you know it doesn't become too much of an issue because this is the only unleaded vehicle on the trek. What's going on up there Simon? A very pretty little creek mate. Is she rocky or sandy? Rocky! Oh decent steep little exit. Oh that's a bit of a ho ho, what's that mean? You'll see. No worries, my little D-Max mate, just ate it for breakfast. We'll see how you guys go. Oh, I see. Oh, right, first thing in the morning, we're going straight for low rain. Every morning. <laughs> Every morning for the last five, six mornings. The radar works again. Yeah, I did the same thing. It's got a bit of traction, that. Not too much of an issue. We'll see how Jace goes with his trailer. Now and up. Missed that little, missed the little pop. Yeah. I'll get that again. He's got it. Oh, uh, he did it. He's got him. I heard some banging going on. Oh no, he's going back. Ah, <laughs> the rig. The big rig. Love your work, Chase. Didn't even have to get out of the car for that one. Just a bit of popping, mate. Bit of popping. Go and have a go at this one. This one could be fun. Simon, you on channel? Gotcha. Come on through. I'm waiting in the middle of the creek here so you can pick me up on the way through. I'm going to chuck some dirt in that hole for you. Coming down. Don't run over my thongs. Someone's left their sore thongs there and I'm going to run over them. <laughs> yeah, well. Make us proud, Simon. Go, Simon. There's quite a hole there, isn't there? Yeah. I still reckon we should wait here and then we'll shovel it and then get a little pop. Oh, I was just going to get you to take me across and I'll get the shovel off and you can reverse back. Okay. What do you reckon? Go. I'll just hang on the side. There we go. It is steeper than it looks from over the other side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Geez, you're going to have fun getting up that. Oh, I'm going to have fun getting up that. Oh, well, look, let's see you get up first. Yeah. Before we make any assumptions. I'm going to watch. Down on it now. If you guys go back about a metre from the top and take the whole lot out, that'll like take a lot of the angle out. Out here like this? Yeah, about just... there, take all that down about a metre, yeah. About a metre? Yeah. Three cubic metres of dirt? Yeah. Okay, sir. See how it goes. All right, mate. Stop, 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 don't be digging, don't be digging. Don't be digging all our hard work out. <laughs> That's good. I should have gone a bit quicker. No, no, you done good. You were close. We just close. popped you a little bit with your winch. You guys didn't compact it enough. Oh, bring her out, mate. Get the winch out. Hey, Jesse, can you grab the tree protector and a soft shackle, please, mate? There she goes. There you go. It's all I needed. All right, Jesse, bring her in, mate. You're good to go. Yeah, copy, mate. You let me know when I should give it the berries. Go now. Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby! You're yeah, right. boys. Smashed it. That was the first obstacle on this track that I've actually made where Simon did not. Oh. oh. All right, mate, come out and do the dance then. Oh, right, let's go. Rear diff locks in. Keep your momentum going from over there, I reckon. There you go, yeah. 
There he is! There he is! Look at that one! Oi! That's good. Good effort. Halfway up. Up in the air. You can see how <laughs> steep it is. I can't get my seatbelt off. All right, give me the bottom one first. Double winton? I reckon. Big nose of a big Chevy sticking up out of the creek. <laughs> Look at it. A big rig. Like a big crocodile coming up over the bank. Looking good. It's popping straight out, Jace. Yeah, you come up, no problem. You beauty. There's a trailer to come yet. Hey, Simon, we launched the boat. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, I'm up. Yeah. Mate, that was a lot less painful than I expected, so. Mate, that's a big bit of gear to haul up that lump. Mate, big bit of gear. Because the earthworks without that would have been different. Oh, yeah, it would have been a lot harder. All right, I'm going to move out of the way. Yeah, I'm up. Yeah, happy with that outcome for sure. And some big loads on this, this truck, but it, it seems to be eating them up all right, which is good. Real good. Very impressed so far with this rig. Impressed with the 300 as well. That thing, Jesse's driving that real well. Looks pretty good, mate. I had a bit of a walk. No crocodiles, just big rocks. And there are some big boulders in here. There's a big slab. If you have a look here, mate, when you come up, this is like a big... A big rock, so you probably want to avoid that one. Yeah, I can see that through the water. That's it, come across now. Not too sharp, that's it there. That one's pretty straightforward. Just go straight. Go straight. Pretty straightforward, mate. Going forward. Yeah, it's pretty easy, Jesse. It's actually a cool little crossing. I like it. What's a pretty little system again, too. It is. It's you. Go the big 300. Swing it, swing it. You're good, mate. There. Hey, Jase. Yeah, mate. Feeling fresh. You're just sitting on a rock watching all the action here. <laughs> no kidding. He's not face. He's just sitting there watching. Going, hey, this is something different. Going in. Tony. Gotta love this. Full driving in the Kimberley, creek crossings. Freshie's just watching the view. This is my type of country. I haven't seen a big salty yet though, I'm sure they're here. All right, I'm gonna have to power through that. That last section's fine, Jace. I don't think you'll have much of a drama. Here we go. Yeah, with the berries. There she goes, plough through. A little freshy on the rock, where is he? Um, moving. Am I the left side? There he is, look at that. How cool is that? He's a cutie. Just having a watch. Just having a watch, who are these Muppets in their 4x4s? Look at that. That is cool as. Monday morning action. Here comes Jesse.
is our last little crossing, mate, before we get to the Berkeley. Last one, nearly there. We are so nearly there. Cool. How's it look? A uh, big thing of water, just looking for the exit. Oh, there it is, I see it. <laughs> There's a scraper. Let me know what it's like. Yeah, it's pretty good. Feels like it's just got a big flat rock bottom in it. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, I can see him. Oh man, the big rig. Not some deep up in there, I bet. Crocodiles. Jesse coming down for a look. Look at the crocodiles, Jesse. Look at the crocodiles, mate. <laughs> A bit interesting, Simon. Yeah, it is. I'm actually going to diff lock that. Hey. You got up? Funny angles you got there. Yeah, just pop my little rear deer flock in, mate. She just walks up like all oh, good, not even spinning a wheel. Yeah, well, I'll lock my center diff and see how I go. Poor <laughs> old Jesse doesn't have, he doesn't have any lockers. What have we got? Central? No, we got like double diff. Double, double diff. Front and rear diff lock, mate. <laughs> I'm in now. I just crawl up. Relax on the leg ring. In 300. So we'll be doing flexing. Back into the rocky country. Not far from the Berkeley. I've been in the Berkeley before from the ocean. In my memory of it, it's very, very rocky, you so. say. Pretty sure the country around it's going to be the same. When you watch Simon come up here in the D-Max, he's lifting wheels and all that. Obviously much shorter wheelbase. This thing. Keep going good there, mate. A lot longer. Seems to be a lot more sturdy coming up that little jump up anyway. I don't even know if I lifted a wheel. Big 300 walking up there, no worries. Yeah, mate, I climbed up that quite nicely, actually. Might just sit up the top here, Jason. If you have any dramas, I'll give you a pull out. Yeah, copy that. You should see how I go. Flex. Well, look at that. <laughs> Great up, man. I have to admit, Jace, that Chevy's a bit of a beast. Drags that trailer to the impossibles. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I won't take up much of your time because I want to show you the fastest awning in the West. It's the Boss Quickie 2.5, mate, and it is fast. I reckon it's one of the fastest awnings. It's new to the market, great design, an absolute cracker of an awning. Easy to set up. Boss Shadow 2.5 Quickie, mate, it's got all the features that our awnings have. 
Otherwise, mate, get back to your video and keep watching. Is that the step you're talking about? Yeah, the important. Crunchy. Side steps. <laughs> it's the Berkeley River, boys. Mate, like most of these river crossings that we come across, there's always a tricky little section just before it. Looks like there's uh, a few decent boulders to navigate through here. They're decent, all right. Old Jason's gonna get all messed up in here. Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> there's gonna be some blue paint left on those rocks. Jace, there's a big boulder on my left hand side that I'm about to approach. Suss the line as I go through. Yeah, you're good, mate. Just go. You're good. You're a good line there. Perfect line. That's it. Straighten up now. That's it. Brings back memories of the Durac, those rocks. There's nothing like the Durac. It's a rugged little crossing, let me tell you. Berkeley, mate. I've always wanted to drive to the Berkeley. Here I am. <laughs> Can you. Never get you over that rock. Yeah. Give me some stuff. You're pretty much on line with my... Can you see it? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Now it's late in the day and we're rushing and not using spotters. I'm concentrating on the inside rock of the trailer. I've lost sight of the big one right in front of me as it's now under the bonnet and one boulder looks like the other. Thinking I've got it in sight, just off the bull bar, I just drive onto it. It's a disaster. Oh, I can feel the impact just go straight through the chassis. I know it's bad, but I wasn't prepared for how bad. Yeah, I can't go backwards. Can't go forwards. You hear Jay swearing back there, that can't be good. I'm, just, I'm sick of doing damage to this truck. This truck is absolutely getting pulverised. Oh, it is so. All the other trucks are just smooth sailing, and this truck's got to tow that trailer, and it just gets Have you got any reverse movement at all? No. no. Otherwise, I'd be off it and we'd be going. It's this big boulder here that's stopping him from going back. At the moment, we've got to, it's, we've got to get it jam it's jammed on. Yeah. There's no more rocks, is there, Sammy? Not like this, mate. <laughs> it's all your fault, mate, for putting all the rocks in the Kimberley. <laughs> <laughs> they say this is one of the hardest tracks. It's messed up with big rocks. Messed up, all right. You're all rigged up. So all I feel now, oi, oi, oi. So all I feel is this car being jammed into the rock. Back it off. Righty, I'll spin around, eh? Boulder removal idea one is a no-go. Doom and gloom. It's all doom and gloom at this point. Oh, it's coming. Just watch your hands there, Jace. Oh, away you go. Just steady. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Just hold, just hold one second. It's ready for the pop. There she goes. Look at that. I'm in a little bit of black paint. Stop, 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 stop. And a big dent <laughs> needs to come down, but we'll sort worry about that later. We need to get this rock out of the way still. I was trying to avoid those rocks there. Yeah. And I was like... You right there, Birchie? Yeah, mate. Don't him. You're a rock hugger. <laughs> Not a tree hugger, a rock hugger. <laughs> Too long in the bush. <laughs> That's messed up. Start turning, buddy. Just got a rock on this side. A lot of moving parts on this little kerfuffle. We've got me and Simon working as a team to get this boulder off the track. Jason, Sammy. Keep him uh, right in there, mate. Sammy are working as a team to get him out of the, the boulder track. But uh, right, 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 right. Yeah, right. Keep on forward, mate, slowly. Given Chase an early heart attack, this bowled up, mate. All clear. You! You know, people people spend, I don't know, I don't know what people think, but a lot of people talk about how stressed and how stressed. Oh, Jace, you're so stressed, mate. 
which is a common thing apparently. Now, just so that you know the true facts here, this vehicle, that vehicle, that vehicle, that vehicle, and every single vehicle that you see here, including all this gear, including everything you see, is all owned by one person, and that's me. All my time, money, and effort is invested in these four vehicles. I lose this entire shooting match, probably lose my house, probably lose whatever, because I put everything on the line. So if you wonder why I get stressed when shit like this happens, or there's a situation where things are just getting destroyed, that's why. Lost me shit. Now when you drive in here this time, see that rock there? Don't run into Don't the run the Don't thing. run over that rock. <laughs> so yeah, first time ever, boys, we've ever put a boat in here by land and also towing this all the way. The boat and the buggy. The first, mate, ever, ever. Ever put a boat into this Berkeley from this track. The land, yeah. Yep. With the big rig. So yeah, it's it's not direct, the stress isn't directed at anybody, it's just me letting my stress out. That's all right. See that big croc track there? Yeah, I see that one. How big you reckon that one oh, is? He's a monster, man. See his head there? Two heads. <laughs> 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 that was messed up. Very happy to be out of that. Bertie reckons that's the last of the big rocks. But... I think he might be just like trying to keep Jake happy. <laughs> That's all I can take today. We set up camp on the escarpment, away from the mozzies, and do a reset for tomorrow. Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by the new product from Camp Boss 4x4. Now it's called the Nudie Boss Shower Tent, and it's designed to be convenient and easy to pack up and set up and have a private area where you can get dressed, changed, have a shower, go to the toilet, whatever you want to do. It's awesome, it's easy, check this out. How cool is that? Simple as that, guys. So inside, if you have a quick look, you'll notice there is, there's a couple of uh, pouches here to store some stuff, your shower gel or whatever. Up here, have a look at this. So that's where the shower head will come through. Comes with a light. Have a look here, so the switching of the light, we've got white and orange. And this is pretty cool as well. I can put the roof in. A couple of Velcro clips, and I've got a private place where I can either go to the toilet, I can do have a shower, all those sorts of things. There she is, guys, the nudie boss. Now, if you get a chance, go on to Camp Boss 4x4 shop online, or check out your local Camp Boss 4x4 dealer. Anyway, back to the adventure. So this morning, we're going to, um, as you can see, we're unloading the boat and the buggy. We're going to head down this track. We've got to cross a small river down here. And the whole idea is, the whole reason why we dragged this entire shooting match here was uh, so that we could get a boat on the Berkeley River, which has never been done before from this track. And um, we're getting very, very close to achieving that. Now, we're going to strip the boat down and try and make it as light as possible. Um, keep the, the buggy as light as possible and it's really going to be a walk and tow, walk and tow because it's going to be slow going. We literally got to make our own track to try and get across over towards that peak over there behind me and then down to the river. And there's only one place where you can launch the boat possibly and we don't even know whether we can do it yet. Maybe if we cruise down just a little bit and then just go straight off the track and head straight for the creek and then from there make a beeline across this back country yeah. where it's probably less thicket. Looks like a little gully there. That's the spur there yeah. that we're looking at now. We quickly discover why no one has got a boat to the river yet. Well, Gullies on. turn into ravines. You want to go that way further, Birchie? Yeah, I reckon we go down and we have to come back up that other line. The plateau just drops into the river. We've had about four runs at it. Birchie has traveled this area on horseback, but we're having problems in the buggy. Look for a crossing down here, eh? Yep. Might be a bit of a gully, but it might be passable. Oh, you need here, Jace? Yeah, this looks pretty good, eh? Cross here. 
You can see the cattle use it. Straight across there and up the other side. All look good? Jace, strain it up. I've got to get around the boulder. Jace, I'm standing on a big boulder here. Maybe take your line here, maybe. Got him. Oh, <laughs> he's out. I nearly give you a slapping. Yeah. What appeared to be passable on sat photos is far from it. This has put an end to reaching the river. Boat and buggy were copping a flogging. We call it. Lead the way, mate. You know where we're going. Let's go catch some big barra boys. Right. Sounds good to me, Sammy. Yeah. Adventure fishing. Yew. Yeah, you can see it down there, the Berkeley River. Yep. Berkeley River Rock Bar. Man, I can't believe I'm walking up to it. <laughs> oh, look what I found. Oh. Mud mussel. Oh. A little baby turtle. That's got to be the cutest turtle you've ever seen in your life, isn't it? <laughs> He's like, oh my god, did you really see me? Just He's back fresh, again. that one. Little saw shell turtle. Look at that. That's the smallest turtle I've ever found, ever. That's a little baby. <laughs> Look at the colours on him. He's got bright orange on him. Yeah, boys. This looks like a good spot. Yeah, mate. There's a nice little swimming hole here. Swimming hole of dreams? Yeah, mate. That's a good spot. You guys went the wrong way. Come on, mate, you gotta bring a bit of twitching into your show. <laughs> Purple swamp hands. Look at that. We'll go for a swim there later. You see one? Where? See a big one. Oh, I did see a little swirl there. No, I didn't see that. I'll show you. How's this for a pretty scenic fishing spot? Pretty good. They're there, not just baiting. Look at all the lines in the water. If there's a barrier in here, we will get it. <laughs> pretty much drag netting. Jack. We get to the rock bar and Sammy is straight after the bait and we instantly find the queenies. Look at the artwork off the rocks too. <laughs> Big fish, look at the size of it. That's a whopper. He's a good fish. He's not even tuckered out yet. Where's my spot to get him up on the rock? There's a big school of them, yeah. look at that. It's gonna be hard to catch anything else. Oh yeah, it'd be Queenie Central. Oh, Got him. Knee on the rock. Oh, that hurt. Big Queenie. Oh, that hurt. Jesse, out here, mate. Oh. See these? See here? Yeah. See these heads moving through the water? Yeah. That's your Queenies if you want to catch one. Your pliers here, buddy. Oh, yeah. I told you. I got one. Straight on. Oh, I might have found hooked it, though. Jesus, they fight, don't they? Yeah. All right, I'll let him go. Big Queenie? Yeah. You got there, Jess? Massive queenie, buddy. You! Yeah, gents, I'm probably gonna need some assistance as well. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. 
Nice, Jace. Nice. There we go. Big Queenie, mate. Excellent. Bring him up here. Bring him up. You've got to get a picture, eh? Yeah. I need a picture. No one believes me if I don't. Big Queenies. What you're seeing right now is a happy Jesse. It's on like Donkey Kong. Time to catch a meter. Just got to get one. Got to get one. Big bear! No! Stop it! Oh, he's a good oh, one. He's a cracker. <laughs> Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Good size barra, Brachy. Yeah, brother. You want to unroll that line? Get him out of your way or? Got him? Yep, got him. See, untangle this one. This one here behind you. Ooh. Look at the barra I just caught, eh? <laughs> How good a job did I do with that? Good catch, brother. Hey, nice work. Yeah. Good job, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hold your fish. We'll get a photo out for you. put us all to shame here. You get a photo of all four of us. That's why they call him, what do they call you? Barra King. Barra King, mate. <laughs> Can you get in, mate? Teamwork. Yeah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> another barra. Wow, oh, another one, boys. Look at that. He's foul hooked on the top of the head. Same size, yeah. boys. Yeah. Oh, he <laughs> ripped him straight in. Here we go. Oh, yes. You on? You on? Oh, yeah. Baron. Big one. Yoo. That's the way, Jace. That's him, brother. Oh, that looks solid. Oh, what is it? Big, Big bar. Big no. metery. Any head shakes? Yeah. Can't see it yet. Oh, get out of the sticks. Oh no. Oh, no. oh what did you oh. do? Went straight in the sticks. That wasn't a barra. That'd be cod, I reckon. Oh, I'd say big cod. There was no barra. Just hold him in your hand. Yep. And then when he takes off, you give him about two, three seconds and just boom. I haven't done this type of fishing before. Only really. My kind of fishing, mate, you just put it in and sit there and do nothing. Yeah. Oh. Oh! Pull him, bro. Pull him, with one hand. pull him, pull him, open handed. When he wants to go, pull him. Oh, pull him, pull him, pull him, boss. You didn't no, hook him. him. Dropped him. You gotta set the hook. Big oh, barrel, bro. Thought I did. No. Clearly not. You! Oh, hoo hoo. Baby Barra. He's on. He's got one. Not quite the size you're after, Jace, but nonetheless. Yeah, little fella. A Barra. At least I got my mullet back. <laughs> we're running out of light, boys. We better head back. We yeah. about running Fellas, out we're not light. gonna see where we're going. No. Nah. That was a cracker little session, but wasn't it? Hell yeah. How good was that? It's a lot of fun. Next time, with the team trapped. Yeah, nah. There's no crossing that, boys. And running low on food. I've got two eggs left. It's desperate times. Am I floating? You're floating. Rock safety is on everyone's mind. Hold your breath. Swim to the bank under the water. Okay. If you do get grabbed, don't die screaming like a girl. <laughs> Join us for the adventure. Jump the queue and stream episodes from the brand new series of All for Adventure right now at Unleashed.tv. Once you're done, there's over 160 hours of Aussie four-wheel drive action, plus unreleased adventures that were too extreme for YouTube and TV. Stream it all now at Unleashed.tv. Got it. He smoked it. Oh yeah!